structural isomers. Structural isomers. These are organic molecules with the same molecular formula but different structural formula. Consider two molecules A and B, both with the formula C4H10. These are hydrocarbons, molecules made up of carbon and hydrogen only. What are the possible structures that can be drawn from these formulas? Well, for A, we can draw a linear molecule with 4 carbons and 10 hydrogens. For B, we can draw a branched molecule. These are isomers of each other. The structures are different. We call this kind of isomers chain isomers because the length of the chain in molecule A is different to the length of the chain in molecule B. In molecule A, the parent chain has four carbons. In molecule B, the parent chain has three carbons. A is butane. It's a but molecule, four carbon chain. B is two dash methyl propane. The prop part tells us that it's a three carbon chain. So chain isomers are organic molecules with the same molecular formula but different chains. We also can have positional isomers. Same molecular formula but different positions of the functional group or substituents or side chains in the parent chain. Suppose we have a four carbon skeleton parent chain like this. And then along one of the carbons, we have a Br molecule, which is a substituent. The name of this molecule would be, well, we'll need to start the carbons from where the substituent is. So this would be 1-bromobutane. But the substituent can be moved to another carbon. In this case, we have created a new position for the Br molecule. We have to number the carbon atoms from the end nearest the substituent. So this molecule becomes 2 bromobutane. So 1 bromobutane and 2 bromobutane are positional isomers of each other. What of functional isomers? In the case of functional isomers, these molecules have the same molecular formula but different functional groups. In this video, the functional isomers we focus on are carboxylic acids and esters. They are functional isomers of each other. This is because both carboxylic acids and esters have a general formula CnH2NO2. To draw a carboxylic acid and an ester, we always need to remember that these molecules have a carbonyl group, which is a carbon bonded to an oxygen with a double bond and then there are two spaces to put other molecules. In the case of carboxylic acids, the carbonyl group is connected to an hydroxyl group, O-H, and the rest of the molecule is a hydrocarbon chain. This molecule right here is ethanoic acid. We can also make a two carbon ester using the same number of atoms but just rearranging them differently. In the case of an ester, 
the oxygen is in the middle. It forms a bridge. It's the bridging atom between two carbon atoms. And there we have formed the ester methyl methyl.